Hey, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, we we'll give all praise to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Ka'ahala, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who grew well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is GMS Arkansas. This is Stop and Listen. Uh, just following this truth, man. Trish is trying to, hey, man, flood this thumb in the year, you know, because we, we, uh, we at the end of this thing. And, uh, we at that time where things are happening, signs are happening. You see a lot of mass deaths, deaths going out. Uh, Esau is trying to uh, close the internet. And he's trying to work his way to uh, martial law. You know, which way he have be able to supervise the uh, citizens. You know, and ultimately try to start a new world order, which won't be able. He won't be able. You know. Then we will see the salvation. We will look up, look up in the sky, and our salvation will be near. So, with that, um, to the brotherhood, man, to your best of your ability, man, just keep prayer and, and try to keep your faith, man, because that's that's the biggest thing now of having faith, you know, in your house, you know, uh, like we've learned, you can or try to obey, you can't obey all the laws. The laws are not going to get you uh, saved. It's going to be faith, man. And it's all through the New Testament dealing with faith. You know, Abraham lived on faith. Noah lived on faith. Moses lived on faith. You know, and then the commandments were brought out. You know, through our faith, we're going to obey these commandments, you know, to the best of our ability. Through that, having that faith, man. I uh, just want to read... Um, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? So faith is a substance of things hoped for, right? That hope is that, that expectation, right? Of what? That we are going to be delivered, man. And receive, obtain that salvation that the Lord speaks about in the scriptures, man. You know? Knowing that, that he's going to protect us, knowing that he's going to come save us, man, through these uh, hardships that are about to come to America, that America's about to bring in, in the time of Jacob's trouble when you read in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. You know, that expectation that he's going to bring those chariots, his healing wings, and, 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 and grab us up and secure us, man, you know, from, from all these evils, man, and from that nuclear destruction also. It says it's the evidence of things not seen because we're we're believing in something that we haven't seen yet. And that's hard for a lot of people to do, man. You know? You want to believe in things that you see. Which basically are, are Esau's uh carnal things that he put out here. You know, and I read that. Uh that's uh Romans. That's Romans 8 chapter. Uh Romans 8. Slacky. There it is. Romans 8 24. For we are saved by hope. Right? See? We are saved by hope. That expectation, man. It says, But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why do it yet he hope for it, man? So the things that you see, like people are, will see. They'll ride in a neighborhood and see, um, they'll see beautiful houses, man. And that's what they hope for. They'll see beautiful cars on the freeway. And those are the things that they hope for. You know, that's what they put they, they trust in trying to obtain, obtain uh, material, material things, man. You know, but it says, but, but if we, if we hope for that, we, that we not see, then do we with patience wait for it so we hoping for that what, eternal life man the kingdom of heaven right the scriptures say that it's already happened we're just manifesting living we're living our roles out to to, to uh, get to that point again it's already the kingdom of heaven Esau has already been destroyed the kingdom of heaven has already been set up but we're just waiting so it said patiently man meaning meaning being uh, steadfast and enduring you know, 
continue, continue in, in, in uh, our reading of the scriptures, you know, continuing in our prayers, man, continuing in being brotherly in this brotherhood, man, continue watching our uh, 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 apostles' videos and other brothers' videos, man, elders' brother videos, man, because it's lessons in everything, man. Remembering not, not trying to overdo it, you know. Paul, hey, Paul said it best, man. Just, hey, make it simple, man. You know? And, that, and, that's, and that's our fight, man. And, and with that, it, that's having faith, man. You know? Uh, back in Hebrews. Uh, back in Hebrews 11. And I say six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, man. So he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. But you have a lot of people, they, they say, I believe in God, but yet, what's his name? You don't believe on the name. We, you know, the prophets, the prophets prophesy and they have the name. They were given that name, man. And they're confessing that name. You don't believe in it, or when it gets when it gets to uh, the doctrine of rape, you don't believe in it. When it gets to the doctrine of uh, a man supposed to be the head of his household, a woman under underneath him, you don't believe in the doctrine. Then, you know, it's it's a, it's a discrepancy now. You know, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without that faith, you can't please how about you know what I'm And that's point blank, man. You gotta have faith to please him, man. You know, you gotta be patient, you gotta wait. You gotta do the things you're supposed to do, man. According to the scriptures. You know, do what you're supposed to do. You know? It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So we believe that if we keep doing this, that we will uh, inherit the uh, kingdom of heaven. And before we, we believe that we are going to be saved out of these conditions, out of these hellacious conditions that are coming in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, people, brothers going to be tested, but we, we believe, we really believe, hey, we, we've done uh, what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has commanded us to do has ordered us to do that he's going to protect us in that day and if some if, if we have to be a mortar then we we take that uh we take that 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 a uh, lot with honor too man you know because that's the that was the honor for a, a warrior when he went out to battle was to come back only with his shield and his sword that was a great honor man for him to go out and die for uh his country man so we going out on the highways and byways we're giving our lives for our nation of Israel to, to wake them up and tell them that this salvation is for them. You know, this kingdom of heaven is for them, man. More the elect. We, we give our lives also, man. So if it, if it be that we're supposed to be mortars, that would be a great honor to know that you, uh, that you did it to a point where they wanted to kill you. They wanted to shut you up, man. That's, that would be a great honor, man. That means you were under that skin more than anybody, man. You were you were deemed to be that threat, man. So that that would be a, a great honor within itself. It says James one and twelve, blesses the man that endure temptation, right? That endure because we're gonna be tempted. You know, it's gonna be a, a, a lot of temptation, man. For when he is tried, he shall he shall receive a crown of life, man. Right. It talks about that crown in uh, Second Ezra, the second chapter, right? In the end, that that man that stood taller than them in stature, put crowns on their heads and gave them palms in their hands, because and they confessed his name in the world, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and it says he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have promised to them that love him. So he's, he promised this crown of life. For, for those who love it. And what's love? That you obey the commandments, man. And what's one commandment we read in uh, Romans, the third chapter? Faith, that's a commandment. 
So we got to have faith, man, and obey the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Do as we are told, and the Lord promised us that crown of life, man. You know? So, man, with that, man, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shine, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS, Arkansas, stop and listen. They hope this lesson was edifying to the brotherhood, man. Shalom.